Emperor Shi Huangdi had sent you on an important mission to spread Chinese culture and influence the southern lands of Annan. Advanced scouting reports the land is fertile and ideal for rice cultivation, and that wild pigs and dangerous tigers inhabit the thick forest. Lacquer trees grow sturdy and strong in the region, and their valuable raisin will make a profitable export. You might even be able to strike a good deal on raw, uncut jade from the natives, who call themselves Viet. The jade from this region is rich green, and once fashioned into intricate carvings, it will surely bring a healthy price on the streets of Xiangyang. If matters are progressing well after a year, the emperor has vowed to dispatch a generous shipment of weapons. While the natives do not seem overly aggressive, like wild animals, they should not be trusted. As royal administrator and envoy for the Chen Empire, you need to build a strong, vibrant city that clearly shows the locals the superiority of the Chinese way. The site of this ancient fishing village should be a nice place to start. All right, welcome back to Emperor. We are in the land of Annam, which of course is modern-day Vietnam. So let's go to the city. The game is paused and let's quickly look what we're dealing with. Actually, I do not remember much of this mission, to be honest. So we can see yeah, we have a thick forest on this side. We have this, these ruins here. And then on the other side, yeah, we don't really have space to build anything. I think yeah, if we unpause quickly, we can see the pigs and the tigers. And there's some more pigs here. Although I think I'm going to stick with fishing. Um, so let's clear up some of this stuff here. And we are going to build our city on this side, I think. Um, like this. So let's start building with an inspector and watchtower. And come out from here. And let's see how we can build up with Feng Shui. Okay, so let's include the grand way just for some better desirability for our houses and then I think we're going to come out like this and have our road like this and then let's see if we can have or how many houses we can have it's five I think that should be good maybe here the rocks are going to be a problem no, okay, so that's perfect. So let's do it like this and do it another grand way in the end, just for better desirability. And we can also put in the ancestral shrine. Have some more houses on both sides, which is great. Acupuncturists can come here. Herbalists, let's put the herbalist on this side, also the water source, and that should be okay. Tax collector can still later on be here in this corner. So let's come out here and see if we can have a market square or if these rocks are a problem. They are, okay. So let's actually just use this road here. Because we just saw that the market square here is okay. So let's do it like this. And then we can use the rest of the space for more houses. Because we do only want to build one housing block. So we want to squeeze in as many houses as we possibly can. Also on this side, like this. That's fine. So let's go for 
gray wall maybe. I think that's tan, but it's fine. So let's do like this. And that should be okay. Then we can have a meal somewhere. I think we are going to fish over here. So maybe oh, we have rocks to cover those fishing fishing piers over there. So we can do something like this that we come out from these rocks over here. And we can put the mill right here. I hope. Yes, and then we should be able to put a warehouse if we put a inspector over here. Like this. And we will need another gate this side for the inspector. And here we want to open for market employees. Now I think before we continue, let's have some people move in. Just so nothing collapses. Prioritize safety and religion. And let's see people move in from down here. As soon as we have people moving in, Yes, we can pause again and see what else we need. So let's put in some gardens like this. Let's have a mill here, very close to the market, which is very nice, and the warehouse. Now, I am going to leave the warehouse set to accepting everything because maybe we are going to receive some gifts and we want to accept them right away now i do want an export going right away as well they buy only lacquer at the moment so let's send out some requests to see if anyone is going to open trade with us and hopefully we can sell something else than lacquer um i do however think we can put down the depot here or here actually now let's put it here so we have space for a farm in this fertile land and we are going to have a inspector walk like this and also cover our fishing so let's do two three four fishing keys and we want one lacquer farm so one two three one two three like this and roadblock and lacquer trees and we will sell this lacquer because that's all we have at the moment and let's prioritize for the moment the agriculture so that we hopefully can produce some of this lacquer while many more people move in and our emissaries go out Kingdom of Nanyue discovered, although they don't do much at the moment. Now the fish is over here. As long as we don't cross over the rib, the lion, uh, the tiger, sorry, should uh, leave us alone. Which would of course be good if that's the case quickly see if this inspector he should be covering no problem yes he does 
Let's quickly check on our goals. Population shouldn't be a problem. Evolving also no problem. And then just produce lacquer and jade. So while we have money and we also, uh, let's quickly see. Ani opens up, they also buy lacquer, which is great. So let's immediately start producing a lot of lacquer. One, two, three, one, two, three, like this, because if that's going to be our main export, of course, we want to produce a lot of it. And then I think we can go like this. I am going to put in a third lacquer farm immediately on this side of the map. Let's quickly check if that is a good road. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, perfect. So we can produce tons of lacquer right away. And then maybe even a fourth one. And let's put down the second trading station, sell lacquer. And this mill doesn't have employees, which is not so good. So let's quickly see. Yeah, we should do that for the moment so we can immediately feed our people and have some more workers come in. Very nice. Now, Namie, let's ask what they want to trade. And then maybe actually this pot here we can also use to produce some pottery or ceramics. Those, okay. Did we produce any lacquer? Not sure. So let's, for the moment, oh no, actually we have unemployment, so we uh, should be fine. So let's. Also put in a rice farm. For our people to have a second type of food. And what was that? People must all. Still have unemployment, so I think whatever Daniel wants, we are going to produce. We fed most of our people. The fishing key collapsed, okay. That's very strange. Because this, oh, this guy actually doesn't cover, what? Oh. I understand, I forgot to roadblock the roads. That's my bad. Like this, he should Definitely cover the whole thing. Let's see again. Yes, that was my bad. Okay. Um, good. Let's just wait for the... Oh, the Kingdom of Nanya doesn't want to trade, but now we see they want ceramics and silk. So let's produce some ceramics by... Having, let's have two clay pits here and a couple of kilts, which we can fit. We should have five kilts for this amount of 
clay pits, so we could have one, two, three. Let's just start another industry here. Four, five. And actually, we can just go on this side here, have the inspector come out like this, roadblock here, and then have him walk loop and then maybe we can even shift the clay pits on this side so that he doesn't have or they don't have to walk so far that also took care of some of our unemployment which is of course good and this here yeah i, th I think everything should be covered fine he does have to walk down here and then turn around, but I think it should be fine. What's this here? Plant food still. Okay. Let's quickly watch. Oh, we're just not producing enough foods, but that's fine. I think as soon as we have some rice, we should be fine. We should also produce something for our gods. And that probably can be ceramics too, because we don't have much else. We can produce some wood. So let's have two wood cutters here and store up some wood in here so that when we have some wood, we can tax people and also give away something to our gods. Now, if we wanted to, yeah, these are those weapons. If we wanted to build a fort, I was just checking where we can build our administrative city. Can we squeeze it in here? No, okay. Let's actually bring back those trees. Um, how about it's over here? Okay, also no. How about here? Yes, here's okay. So let's put it there and just have one fort somewhere reasonable. Not there. Sure, let's have it here. I think here should be fine. Lacquer will be coming in. And now let's quickly see what else we need. We could, of course, produce lacquerware if we wanted. Let's quickly see our gods and give away some wood. He was not impressed with our gift of wood at all. Okay. Let's make sure agriculture is maxed out. And how many parts do we have? As soon as we have 800, we're going to send those away. Let's quickly make a save here, just in case something bad happens. We finally fed the entire block, except for this house. But there's some people coming in. Fish still being produced, which is very good. We have some military. And because I don't really trust those guys here. I'm going to sabotage their military. Just in case. Just in case. So, lacquer is being produced. So, hopefully, we can make the money. We have still 600. Okay. This is so slow. There are a couple more pots. Coming in, now the lacquer is being harvested. 
I can make one gift to the gods. Or, oh, okay, let's not accept lacquer into here. And we have enough pottery to send out a gift. And hopefully that will let us trade and buy some carved jade. Because as soon as we can sell some carved jade, also our money issues should be solved. We did sell some stuff, which is good. Now rice is coming in, so our feeding should be no problem. Let's put in a second food shop immediately. And I think I am going to produce some more rice next year because I have a feeling there might be a demand for rice at some point. So, how can we do this? For an emissary bean curd, thank you very much. They are still apathetic, but I am going to try. And we are going to clear everything here. Is this a good spot? to farm over here. Like this, and then just have a road coming over. Like this, make sure it doesn't touch anything so we are not accidentally um, sending out the inspector, for example, on the wrong side. Now we do have two types of food, so why not try to evolve? Let's buy some hemp. And actually, okay, that's good. And have a music school here. Almost out of money, but we do have pretty much everything we need. Let's quickly send out a gift to Hongdi so we don't get cursed. All block is fed. Employees. Okay. It's fine for the moment, I think, as soon as we evolve. Sure. Let's celebrate. Let's send us into debt, but we still have some stuff to sell. Maybe let's not buy stuff. Let's quickly, let's keep accepting weapons here. Let's accept wood. Let's accept ceramics like this. And actually we do not need to accept hemp because we just want to send out the hemp our people. They can directly take out of here. We get money. Rescue funds, very good. And we are trading with Kingdom of Namie. We can put the trading depot right here. And then we are going to sell ceramics. That means we can stop accepting those into there and just sell everything and then we can also start buying some carved jade and carve up some jade which means we need jade carvers around here and they want five balls of silk okay that's a little bit of a problem because we cannot get silk who is Selling silk. Yin. And they want lacquer win. Don't think we can make that because we don't have any lacquer wear. So we can make lacquer wear, so 
but I think it's just impossible to to fulfill this demand. This came in a little bit too late. I think I'm just going to try uh, solving this problem later by just giving out gifts to them. And I'm going to turn this into a loop. So this inspector will walk a loop and I can then put down four jade carvers and we're going to buy some jade because we're kind of broke or almost broke. Then of course we need way more people. So what is going on here? We still need plain food, which we've run out. Okay, so let's give out some more wood gifts to our gods and let's just wait. And see, I'm thinking if I should just send out a gift of ceramics. Let's for the moment quickly turn off this industry there. And let's stop buying jade. Um, yeah, let's just wait. We will make money by selling all of this lacquer. The only problem is really the silk demand. We have a lot of fish, which is good. But we cannot sell fish, so that's a shame. Okay, so let's actually quickly see what's going on here. Lacquer. Hmm. Okay, so as soon as we harvest the lacquer, we can turn off this industry. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Can we give you some seal or uh, something? Let's give you some fish. I know you don't really like fish, but just to, for you maybe not to be too angry at us. Then let's carve up some chase so we don't uh, go into too much debt. And then here, yeah, we're just waiting for the rise to come in. Um, Kingdom of Narnia was spying on us, but we cannot send out our free spy because we're in debt. It's a bit, little bit annoying. Um, yeah, we're just probably going to have to uh, maybe produce some lacquerware so we can open trade with someone who produces silk. That's probably what we have to do. Now we are going to have plain food as soon as this market lady comes in. Yes, and now our houses are evolving and we should be able to solve our worker problem. All the gods are contented, which is also good. This desirability or do they not have food yet? Everything evolves very good. We have some money. And maybe, yeah, we just, we just gonna hit this demand. Very sorry. And now we should maybe buy some more hemp because those hemp, hemp has run out here. How are our balls? So we are producing enough casks of lacquer. So pretty much if we evolve our houses. So let's 
get some ceramics over here. People milestone, which is very good. How is employees? Workers are okay. Money is okay. So let's dispatch the rice. Let's not celebrate and let's import jade. Because as long as trading is open, we can produce some jade carvings and hopefully hit our goals very fast. We, we produced three, okay. It's not too impressive, but I think we should be able, yeah, price increased, it's also very good. And we are going to give another gift of something to the kingdom of Nanyue, maybe some ceramics. Because that's actually what they want, and hopefully they are going to continue trading with us, even though we did not give them the silk like they asked us. It's not by jade for the moment. And let's. Oh, we do have a lot of unemployment. Let's drop wages a little bit. We do have some ceramics. So that means... Are we also going to need a third type of food? Now, I do not really want... To buy... Uh, to produce a third type myself. But let's just buy millet. And it's getting millet. Millet is not so expensive, so... It should be fine. And then we should be able to evolve... Our housing. Can we squeeze in acrobats over here? Nope. Okay. There's some good rock feng shui somewhere. Probably here. I will include another inspector. How are they feel? Still apathetic. Not too bad. We should slowly buy more jade, but these can keep carving away. Money is reasonably stable, I'd say. Millet coming in, we can easily afford. But let's increase the food quality once more. We just missed the market lady going out. But some millet can come in and stock up and next time the market lady goes out she should be able to grab some uh, appetizing food and we can also already distribute some ceramics yeah we're slowly importing jade which sometimes sends us into debt but we're also selling carf jade but at the moment everything seems to be quite stable. Let's save just in case I jinx myself. So we do not need to produce some more lacquer at the moment. Hemp is very stable as well. And maybe gods. Yes, let's give some wood to the gods. We actually have plenty of wood to give to our gods. Food is quite uh, food uh, money is quite stable because now we're selling this of jade. Let's give something to the kingdom of Namie. Maybe oh, they sell rice. They probably don't want rice. Let's give them some fish. No, they don't necessarily need fish, but maybe that will just make them hate us a little bit less, so they curse us would be the idea. Um, have some wood. All the gods are contented. Now we still have loads of unemployment. Okay, so let's see where we can dump some of this unemployment. We definitely can put in a tax collector. We can also 
prepare for some acrobats that are that can go here. So the houses are evolving. We need more uh, Shenyang salt. Very good. Burger stabilizes our food. And what else can we do? Do we want to produce some more ceramics? I think we can produce some more ceramics here on this side. Like this. Just move this roadblock. I like the gifts. Um, maybe one more kill somewhere. Here. And one more. Play pit. Ugh. Happy New Year, sure, let's celebrate, right, we still have three types of food, which is great. What else do we need? Oh, we are going to win very, very soon, which is great. So that's going to solve our unemployment problem just by winning. And we just need some more desirability. Put in a grey wall. Like this and the this. expansion of the Qing borders southward into the forests of Annam has been successful. It is a job you can be proud of, noble administrator. However, barbarian horsemen again threaten our northern commanderies. The Emperor has need of your superior organizational talents near a place called Badaling. Okay, let's quickly check our score. Um, yeah, not many points to really collect in this mission. Very easy. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.